I'd really tried to draw in the young talent that up until that point had been really stifled and they weren't contributing. Yeah. And I was trying to get those guys who we had, a, for example, a young guy called Tom Slingsby, who was a gold medalist from 2012. And, you know, huge talent and really trying to draw that out of those younger guys who perhaps felt that they were sort of, um, it wasn't expected of, the, of them to, to, to really start contributing and um, get them to, to really be part of, of the decision-making process. And with that, as these boats are flying around at about 50 miles an hour, there's a lot of wind noise, so the only way we can communicate is through earpieces. And all of the rest of the guys, the 12 other, sorry, 11 other guys on the boat could hear that conversation. The other thing, this happens in business too. Um, uh, we see it every day in the financial pages looking at companies. Uh, companies lose their confidence and they start making mistakes. And the US team kept making mistakes. And the more mistakes they made, the more, more mistakes they made. And they needed a game change. They needed to do something to change that. And, and Ben came on the boat and started to give them confidence, partly through communication. But, but that was the step changed. And they started to win a, one race. You know, there were eight one down for Christ's sake. No, you know, they went back up. They won one race and they ran two and then three. And then the doubt is in the other guys. You know, we were talking, Dr. Peters was talking about oh, this is all about you know, your inner Earlier gym. on. Yeah. And it, it's all up here, you know. And suddenly, uh, the Kiwis look like that the eight one down, they were 20 seconds from winning the America's Cup, okay, and the, the, it was timed out. And suddenly, all the doubt is with the Kiwis, and the Kiwis start making mistakes. And that's, you know, and that happens in business all the time, doesn't it?